So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, spread your toes out. Keep lengthening through your spine and just focus inward for your yoga perspective. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows slightly back so that chest stays open. Inhale, stretch your arms forward, but keep your shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you and lift your heart. Stretch your head back and breathe. Pivot at your hips, exhale over. Hands up toward the ceiling, head down toward the floor. Move your chin around, let your neck release a little bit. Bend your knees, slowly work your way up. And upper body back bend, lifting your heart. Shoulders down, head back. Just a nice little stretch through your spine as well. And then inhale up, release your arms, and again, focus inward. Arms at shoulder level once more. Exhale to your heart, stretch to the front. Exhale, hands behind you, clasp the opposite way, other finger outside, spread your toes. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, nice back bend, and then pivot over, releasing into that position. Take a breath there, let the backs get a good stretch. Kneecaps toward your thighs, straightening your legs, and then bend your knees and wind up from the bottom of the spine, slowly back to the top. And again, a nice little upper body back bend as you lengthen through the whole body. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment just focusing on that energy flowing through your spine. Keep one arm down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch the arms apart and lean no twist over to the side for that lateral motion. Get those ribs stretching apart, push the foot you're leaning away from down a little bit more. And then inhale back up, release your arm, and do the other side. Arm at at shoulder level, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, slide to the opposite side. <clears throat> foot pressing down that you're leaning away from as you reach out through your head and your hand, yoga ribs expand. Inhale back up and release. Shoulders back and down. Stretch your spine apart, base of the skull, base of the spine, moving away from each other. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders and clasp your elbows for a twist. Stretch that spine apart and turn to one side. Another breath in, exhale over. Deepen into that Forward bend in your twist as much as you'd like. Check that your weight is as much on both feet evenly as you can. And then keeping your arms by your ears and staying in the twist, work your way back to the top and lift your heart. Elbows back, shoulders down, chest high. Nice upper body back bend. Remember, gentle on your low back in the twists. And then inhale to the top, exhale to the center and switch your arms around. And again, lengthen that spine apart and twist to the other side. Breathe in and exhale over. And again, just deepen as far as your body wants to go for that warm up. Keep releasing any tension as you come back all the way to the top in the twist. Weight on both feet evenly as you lift your heart. Pull your elbows slightly back and lift your chest. Shoulders down, upper body back down. And again, on an inhalation, come up, exhale around to the center, bring your arms into extended mountain. Feel that rounding through both feet evenly into the base of the toes and heels. Swan dive forward, so chest and chin slightly leading. And then parallel to the floor, just stretch it all straight. And then drop into ragdoll and hang. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want to. And then back to the front. 
arms hanging, and again, just winding back to the top, shoulders back and down, and again, mountain pose. Take a breath and focus inward. And then just concentrating on your arms, bring them to shoulder level. We're going to stretch out through the fingertips, spread the fingers, turn the palms up, and then some big circles. So just circling around, extend up through the head, out through the fingertips as you work around, letting those shoulders get a little more lubricated. Make the circle smaller. And then stop straight out, turn the palms down, and circle the other way. And again, stretching out through the fingers, up through the head, and just big circles as you start. And then smaller circles, feeling the difference through your arms and shoulders. And stop, stretch out through the fingertips. Keep the hips where they are and push to one side. Feel the arms stretch back to the center, over to the other side. Back to the center, turn your palms up, bring your arms overhead and look up. Swan dive again forward, pivoting, stretch out parallel to the floor. Keep your whole body straight, your spine open, and we'll twist. So just turn your whole upper body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, bringing one arm up and the other one opposite. Take a breath. And exhale, pivot back to the center. Stretch it out again, stretching those arms and the sitting bones and crown away, and pivot to the other side. Whole body turning in that upper body, hips, ribs, shoulder, arms reaching up, up, away from each other, opposite. And again, exhale, pivot back to the center, stretch it out, and drop in the right bell, just hanging with those arms release, shoulders relax. Slide your hands up under your knees, come into that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Exhale back down into ragdoll. Slight bend to your knees. Bring your arms up to the sides. Again, at shoulder level, pivot up. Keep them at shoulder level. Keep those shoulders down. Palms toward the ceiling. Look up. Bring your hands together and to your heart. And release into mountain pose. Just take a moment, feel that shoulder area a little bit more activated. And again, arms to shoulder. Bring your fingertips together, elbows at shoulder level. And then we're going to pull the elbows back, separating the hands, everything still at shoulder level. Just feel the chest open a little. Fingertips back together. And then swing your arms forward, out, and back. Go as far as your shoulders want to go, no further. And then slowly, shoulder level, arms coming back to the center, fingertips meeting as they were. And again, elbows back, hands separating, shoulder level on everything in that upper body, and back together with the fingers. And then separating, bringing them out and around and toward the back as far as they want to go. Remember, they may not go too far, that's okay. Do what's right for your body, and then bring the fingertips back together. One more time, just separating fingers, bringing them back, and then flinging them out around and back, and returning to the front. And release back into mountain pose. Bring one shoulder up and then the other, and just rotate them around, getting a little more circulation through that upper arm shoulder area. And then release, let your arms relax. And separate your feet a little bit more and turn your toes just slightly out. Knees going toward your second toes as always. Bend your knees, hands above your knees. Remember position, don't support, so no pressure in your hands. I'm gonna bring your shoulder across toward the opposite knee. So a little twist. So stretch your spine apart. Breathe in, and then as you exhale, rotate, bringing that shoulder around and down. Turn your whole body slightly toward that side. Pull that shoulder toward the knee, maybe a little bit more. 
and then back to the center. Straighten everything out, lengthening that spine. Exhale, shoulder toward the opposite side. And again, just as far as it wants to go, stretch it out a little more, exhaling maybe a little deeper. And then again, back to the center. Take a breath. Exhale, squat down, bring your arms inside your knees, hands to prayer position, see if you can get into that squat. And then lift your sitting bones, drop your hands, straighten your knees, roll your body all the way back up, turn your feet to the front, and back into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling your arms and your whole body. Hands to your heart. Inhale. Focus on those thumbs as you bring them up. Keep looking at the thumbs as you pull them back. A nice little back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot on all the way over. Ragdoll. Hands up under your knees. Stretch and straighten halfway up. Exhale, back down. Knees bent. Hands to your heart. And again, all the way toward the ceiling. Look at your hands, one more back bend, and exhale into mountain pose. As you get back to mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling your body. Arms again at shoulder level. So get your pose spreading out, nice straight spine, sitting bones and crowns stretching apart, shoulders down away from your ears. Turn one hand, palm up, the other one down. Bring the thumbs in and wrap your fists just gently around. And then reverse. The hand that's up goes down, the one that's down goes up. And just keep doing that. Stretching out through the fists, up through the crown, down evenly into your feet. And then bring the upper arm into it, so a little bit more rotation. Feeling those elbows getting working as well. And then bring your upper arm into it. Just up to the shoulder so the whole arms are twisting, one up, one down. Keep the head reaching up. Keep that core activated, supporting your spine. And then really bring the shoulders into it, getting that twist going all the way to your spine. Letting the shoulder really come up and forward as you twist the fist back and reversing it. Feel that whole upper body working. Keep fists moving out, head moving up, shoulders working side to side, really getting into it as much as your shoulders, arms, and body want. And then releasing the shoulders, just doing the arms, Feel that shoulder level. Releasing the upper arm just from the elbows down to your hands. And then just the fists up and down. And then stop. Both fists down. Stretch it way out. Stretch it out a little bit more. Keep those shoulders down. Shoulder blades towards your waist. Core activated, supporting you. And then shake it all out. And just take a moment, feeling your body a little bit more energized. And once more, hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Swan dive forward, arms separating, shoulder levels, stretch it out. Drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Hands again up to your shins under your knees. Press into that halfway up stretch. Shoulder blades towards your waist. Crown lengthening away. Exhale, bend your knees. Come on all the way to the mat. And the inner child's pose for our transition. Hips back on your heels. Hands, palms up. Forehead down. Just stretch it out. Take a breath. Just relax. And then bring your arms out in front, come up into table position. Knees hip width apart, feet straight back, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. <clears throat> Lift those ribs, support your low back, chest slightly toward your thumbs so you're not punching the upper back up. 
and stretch the sitting bones and crown away. Take a moment there and breathe. And then slide your hands forward and bring your elbows down onto the mat under your shoulders, hands sliding to the front, right at shoulder width apart. We're going to take one hand, right hand behind the left elbow, half a square with your forearms. Slide your hips slightly back. <clears throat> slide your left hand away to the front, lifting that shoulder slightly and then pulling it down toward the hand that's on the floor. And keep the palm planted on that left hand out in front of you. Sink your hips slightly further back if that works for your shoulder. And then exhale, forehead down toward the forearm or slide it further back and go toward the floor if that's something that your body wants to do. So just let that whole armpit shoulder area get a good stretch. Take a breath, sink those hips maybe further back toward your feet. Palms planted on that left hand. And then inhale, and lifting your head up, bring the elbow back under your shoulder, pivot that right hand back to the front. Just feel the difference in the shoulders as they stretched a little more open. And then take the left hand behind the right elbow, same thing, hips slightly back, and slide that right hand forward, plant the palm, exhale those hips slightly further back, bring your forehead down toward your arm, or further toward the floor. And again, just relax there, letting that armpit shoulder area sink toward the floor, getting a good opening for you. Remember, personal practice, just go as far as your body wants. Exhale, tension. And then again, on an inhalation, lift your head, pivot back up, elbow and hips into place, and that arm back again. Hands at shoulder width. So your hips are up, your spine is stretching apart, and we're going to keep the hips up and slide your chest forward toward your hands. You can bring it all the way down to the floor if you want, but you're a puppy and your happy puppy tail is in the air, so you can wag it around if you'd like. And just be that playful puppy looking forward, stretch your neck, bring that chest as far down toward the floor as you'd like to go. And then pushing back, Slide your hands back under your shoulders, coming into table position. Again, ribs up, support your spine in that low back area. Wrist elbows and shoulders are aligned and hips, knees, and feet aligned. You can lift your wrists or hands anytime to circle your wrists if you need to as we're in this table position. And we're gonna slide the right foot back, hip level, and raise it. Stretch out, keep the knee toward the floor so that will roll in at the top of the thigh. You can tuck your toes under if you want or just keep stretching out through the back base of your toes. And again, we're gonna keep the hips even and we're gonna lower the chest down toward the floor between your hands as that leg goes up slightly counterbalancing. You can go all the way to the floor if you want to. And then pressing into your hands, coming back up. Bring that leg back to hip level, bend the knee back into table position. Circle your wrists if you need to, because yeah, we're going to do it on the other side. Ribs up, supporting that low back. Stretch your spine apart, shoulder blades toward your shoulder, uh, toward your waist, and bring the left foot up. Again, a little roll in at the top of your thigh to keep that knee straight toward the floor. You can flex the foot toes down if you want or keep it stretching out through the base of your toes. Weight into both hands as evenly as you can. And again, we're gonna lift the legs slightly as you bend your elbows, bring the chest down toward your thumbs. Go as far as you want, all the way to the floor if that's something you love to do. Take a breath. And again, pressing into your hands, coming back, leg parallel to the floor and drop the knee down. And again, you can circle the wrists if you'd like. Take a moment there and then push back, 
arms, hips coming back toward your heels, arms still extended out to the front, bring your forehead down toward the floor. Take a moment there, just breathe into it. Let those arms, shoulders, armpits drop toward the floor. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, slide off, and come into stamp position. So press out through the bottoms of your feet, about hip width apart, sitting bones slightly behind you for that good positioning. Get your core active, shoulders back and down, and just allow your whole body to sink into the sitting bones. Keep that core active, supporting your spine nice and straight, crown toward the ceiling, arms at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, bring your arms up above your shoulders. Stretch up through the fingertips, just like we do in extended mountain. And then separate your hands, palms out, back to shoulder level. And release hands to the floor. Take a moment there, and we're just going to work the neck out a little bit. So bring your chin into that throat indentation. Keep the rest of your body activated so the core is supporting your spine. Spine is straight, shoulders over your hips, palm up. Soles of your feet pressing away. And then bring one hand up to the back of your head. Just add weight, don't add pressure. And then the other hand. You're not pushing into your head. You're just letting a gentle stretch through the back of your neck. Exhale, just let that chin drop deeper into that throat center, if it does. Don't force it. Remember that hands are just weight. They're not pressure. Elbows out toward the sides. And then release one hand and then the other. And then tip your head back up. Just feel that neck a little bit more activated. And then lift your chin toward the ceiling, but keep stretching out through the base of your skull. So you're really lengthening through that whole neck area as you look up. And then move your jaw around. Just give that throat a good stretch. And work your jaw. And then again, releasing. Tip your head back upright. Just feel your neck. And we're going to work the shoulders or the neck side to side on the side of the neck and the shoulders. So again, tip your ear toward one side. Keep both shoulders even right above the hips. No moving the shoulders, just the neck. So you'll feel that opposite side stretch. If this is your challenge, remember, be gentle. You can stay there, just letting that happen the way it is, or you can add weight. So bring the hand you're tipping toward up to the side of your head. Again, just weight, not pressure, letting that stretch maximize for you. And you can bring the hand palm down toward the floor if you want a little bit more pressure into that stretch, but don't overdo. Just let the stretch happen. Breathe into it, relaxing. And then pressure in that hand on the floor, just release it and release the other hand and tip your head back upright. Feel the difference on the two sides. Yeah, we're gonna do the other side exactly the same way. So once again, Tip your ear toward the side and just let it come as far as it wants to. Both shoulders stay down. The ear is never going to make it to the shoulder. That's fine. Just relax. Keep that core supporting your spine. Keep the spine upright. You're just laterally moving the neck. Get the stretch going. Stay there or bring the hand on the side you're tipping toward up. And again, just weight, not pressure on the side of your head keeping that ear going toward your shoulder and the other side, just gently stretching or a little bit more with the hand to the floor, pressing it gently down and you'll feel it maximize a little more for you if you want to. But remember, personal practice, this area is delicate for a lot of people, so don't go too far. And then if you've got the hand on the floor, you can release it. 
hand on your head, release it, and tip your head back up. Feel the sides a little bit more activated. And then we're going to really stretch that back of your neck apart and do the backing out of the driveway turn. So just turn your chin toward one side and look to the side. So it's a twist. The rest of the spine is pretty much straight. So this isn't a whole body turn. It's just a neck workout. Take a breath. Relax. Stretch your head up. And exhale, chin back to the center. Feel the difference. Yeah, we got to balance it and go the other way. Stretch it apart. Exhale, turn your chin to the side. And again, another breath. Exhaling and relaxing into that position as much or little as your body likes. And then again, stretching up through the crown. Turn your head back to the center. Just feel what's going on through your neck. So let's do a little warm up for the hips, and then we're going to do one more shoulder thing. So bend your knee, bring the foot up to the opposite thigh, and let that knee go down so that hip warm up starts happening in your hip rotator. Hands on your leg for a little weight, but remember, no pressure. Just let that knee come toward the floor. If you're tight today, you can bring that leg over to the side, or remember, you can always pivot pillow and pivot a little more through the pelvis if that is needed for your body. Let it relax. When it feels like it's a little looser, we'll bring the foot and knee into your hands, work it back and forth, or pulling it, it in closer with your arms wrapped around and just move to get that fluid lubricated. If it's working and you love it, you can bring your foot higher or closer. That makes it more intense, but don't go there if you don't want to. And then release that, and we'll warm up the other hip. Foot to your thigh, knee coming down. And again, core is activated, supporting your spine. Shoulders are above your hips, crown reaching to the ceiling. Knee and toes up on that front leg. This knee is just coming toward the floor as much or as little as it wants. Leg to the side or that padding behind you if you need it for your pelvic opening. Take a breath, relax it. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands or arms and move it side to side for that hip. So just feel the hip, move it in the hip, getting a little bit more formed up so it's easier to flow. Foot higher or closer as you want or need. And don't forget to breathe. Shoulders are still down, away from your ears. Shoulder blades toward your hips, always. And again, when you're ready to release that, just bring those legs back to the front. So, cow's head pose, gonna work the hips and the shoulders. It's a little challenging, don't go too far. Bend that right knee to the front. Get positioned. Bring your left knee as much above that right knee as works for you. And then with the left knee on top, your right hand is going to go, your right hand is going to go out to the side, palms up, and bring the arm over your shoulder. Bend the elbow, hand in toward your neck, and then take the other hand, push in and down on that elbow to get that hand further down your spine. And then wrap your other, your left arm around. See if you can clasp your hands behind you right along the spine. Push your head back into that arm that's up because otherwise you're bending and releasing that spine straightness. And you don't want to do that. So head back into the arm, elbows reaching away from each other, and work about spine level as much as you can. They may be out to the side, depending on your shoulders. So remember. Just relax your shoulders into it. Allow it to happen. As you focus on relaxing and releasing through the shoulders, your hips will probably release too, and they'll let that sitting bone that's on the left side sink a little further toward the floor. If it does, that's fine. Take a breath. And then release your arms. Feel all that shoulder circulation. And release your legs and into now into staff position getting ready for yeah the other side so bend your knee again heel in knee above that 
as much as you can. Get those heels close to your hips or out, wherever works for you on that lower body. And remember, you can always just go into a cross leg position if you need. Right knee on top, left arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, bend the elbow, hand into your neck. And again, push into your hand, push down with your hand toward your middle of your back. Push your head into that hand so you're not leaning forward. Wrap the right arm around. See if you can clasp your left hand behind you. Otherwise, just hold your shirt and get it as close as you can. If we had belts, of course, we could use those as well. Take a breath. Just relax through the shoulders. Let that work maximize in your body as much as you need. Head pushing back, arms relaxing. As they do, the hips will release as well. And then letting go of your hands, just unwind. Release your legs, just unwind. And bring your feet to the end of the mat. Core activated, just slowly roll onto your back. And reclined integration, getting ready for our final relaxation. Hands, palms up at your side. Feet hip width apart, toes slightly up toward the ceiling. Let the shoulders release down into that surface beneath you. Take a breath, let everything go. And just soften your belly. Natural curves to your back. Move your head around, let your neck release. Lots of shoulder work today. So just release and relax, kind of circle those shoulders around and then let them go. Hands, palms up to keep that chest area open, heart toward the ceiling. And let your legs relax, your whole body sink deep into that earth support and let everything go. Deep breaths in, exhaling tension. As you allow your body to release into the earth support, just let awareness of your body go and release other thoughts from your mind as well, letting your mind float freely, letting the thought content disappear as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let those thoughts disappear without awareness and let your attention focus inward. Let your awareness fill with the peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Take a few moments just to be peace. And if you want to keep relaxing, you can do that. If you want more and more shoulder workout, bring your arms to T position. Palms up, thumbs into your palms. Wrap those fingers around in a gentle fist. Turn one fist down toward the floor, the other one up. And then reverse it. And just like we did standing, we're going to reverse those fists, one up and one down. And then bringing your lower arm into it along with your elbow. And then all the way through the upper arm up to your shoulder. And then really emphasizing that shoulder work, bring that twist through your whole arm area into your spine connection. One shoulder up while the fist goes down and then the opposite. Just letting those shoulders give a nice release. And then releasing the shoulders and the upper arms and the lower arms and the fists. Hands, palms up, sitting bones toward your heels. Draw your heels in toward your hips. Bring your knees up toward your heart and wrap your arms around for that final yoga hug of appreciation. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today. 
and the work your body does for you every day. And then head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.